and welcome back. <clears throat> I'm still working on my logging village, and matter of fact, this is the world I've been working on. I've been detailing a little bit of the uh, sawmill, <clears throat> and I've been working on it pretty hard. I've also been working on the mine shaft a bit, and came across this little nice little ravine and natural cave system in the midst of working on that. However, there's something very, very strange here that I noticed. And there it is. That's... <laughs> this is just... Uh, what looks like it was going to be a spawner at one point in time. But um, for some reason, it... Or maybe... Okay, wait a minute here. We may have something. Oh, hi. <laughs> well, hello there, Mr. Spawner. Alright, maybe I misjudged it. I thought I was supposed to come out into the room. Let's see what we got here. Obviously I have monster spawns turned off, but what is it? It is a spider spawner. Interesting. What have we got in the goods? Oh, some buckets. And they stack now. I forgot about that. Thank you, 131. And I know I'm using iron picks to do some of the most basic work, but honestly I don't really care that much. <laughs> I'm not one detail because I know iron's going to be quite plentiful by the time I'm done. Now, apparently, um, I've heard, haven't really looked it up much, that you can uh, create this mossy cobblestone here, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. So let me know in the comments how to do it, and I'll be sure to mention you, or for the, at least the first person to tell me how to do it, in my next video here. Wait a minute, aren't normal with two chests? Hmm. Interesting. I'll take the chest. Why not? And yes, I just damaged my tool doing that. But, uh, I'm going to also show you around the logging village and some of the details I've done when I get out of here. Gotta finish collecting all this. Ah, I guess I'm done. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't know why I blocked that off. Guess in case I turn monsters back on. All right, let's see. How do we get out of here? <clears throat> well, that's good. Natural ravine. Except I think I came from over here. Ish. Yep. And going up here. Here we are. Oh, good. Some of my trees are starting to grow. You can see I've gone at what the get out of there, cow. Silly cow, you're not a wolf log. You're kidding, right? Seriously? Wow. <laughs> okay then. But as you can see, uh, I've been detailing it just a little bit, starting on it. As <clears throat> soon as I get some more logs, I'll detail it even further. But, there we are. I have been quite busy working on the mine. And other than that, there aren't really many updates to do. Oh, I also changed the uh, bridge just a little bit. Oh, now that I have those buckets. Boop. Crap. Um, that should do it. Yep. And we'll go ahead and do that. Can come out this side? No. Thank you. Thank you, Minecraft. Thank you for not doing anything that you're supposed to. I appreciate that. So I guess I'm just going to have to do that. I see what I've done. There we go. Come on. 
that may be it. There we go. Okay, so now that's in place. I need ideas on how to make this look a little better, guys. Be, you know, comment on it. Let me know what you all think. I will be putting some other things here to detail it. In oh hi, and I really could use some ideas on how to make that look better. So let me know in the comments what you all think. In the meantime, oh wow, that grew big. Great. Don't like big trees. In the meantime, here, fun. I am going to continue to work on this, and I'll be sure to give you all regular status updates. But I wanted to show you that, and just that was such a weird place for a uh, spawner to go, just in the middle of a wall like that. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but still. And I will continue to work on here. Hello. <laughs> of course, we'd be in the ceiling. Great. But until next time, guys, I'll see you all later. And I'll give you another status update probably later in this episode. So have a good one. And welcome back. I am now almost done with the sawmill here. And I've detailed it quite a bit since you all last saw it. Um, actually, you know what? Just to give you an idea of how far this place has come. You know, standing from up here, this is where I started first taking screenshots of the area. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture of what it looks like when I first began, right now. It should be overlaying right about now. And you can see pretty much all the work I've done to it. You know, clearing out the land, leveling the trees, things like that. Building the bridge. Now, coming down the mountain here. Carefully coming down the mountain. And you know, I showed you the mine earlier in this episode. And this episode is going to be rather short because I don't have... Um, I think I've done a lot in terms of detailing things like that, but uh, you can see where I've started growing trees just because simply I've run out of wood. And the sawmill now has a saw and a deposit area right over here. It also has a log run where they can pull the logs up into the mill itself. And probably right about here I want to build some logs and I want to reroute the river which is going to be long, continuous process to come over here. That way they can just pull the log straight out of the river. But you can see here that I'm starting to grow quite large, and the sawmill is actually looking rather decent. I'm happy with the way it's coming out, actually. And I just need to work the river over here. Now one of the other things I'm probably going to do is come over there in that snow biome over there. What the... Okay, apparently I just phased through a piece of dirt. That's cool. And I'm going to try and um, sort of make like a logging area over there and make some land stripped and some you know, sideways trees, things like that. Now, one of the things I see on Reddit a lot, and this one's going to sort of be part of the Let's Play here, is uh, a lot of people post suggestions on Reddit all the time about what they would see in Minecraft and things like that. And some of them I've noticed are really, really, really good ideas. And other ones I have to sit there and just think, why would we ever need something like that? But, you know, one of the things I actually was thinking of a while ago, and I was kind of wanting your all's input, was uh, how about diable redstone lamps that you can create different colors using redstone lamps and, you know, make sort of party floors and things like that. That way you could have like nice displays of you know pixel art or something along those lines. I think it would actually add a lot to the game. Or just dyeable colors and different colors of light, because I mean honestly, torches get a little bit old after a while. But what are some of your ideas? If you could add one thing to Minecraft, I don't mean like modding it in, like actually like having a vanilla thing added to Minecraft that would still fit into the world so nothing like airplanes because that doesn't really fit well with Minecraft I mean something that you know sort of fits this medieval sort of fantasy kind of thing swords, sword, swords and shields things like that well there's another one actually shields you know wouldn't it be kinda cool to be like Link and Hyrule and just run around with uh, a shield to defend yourself with or you know something you could have like in your hotbar Oops. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Fail number two. 
something you could have in your hotbar that would actually like deflect bullets or something like that, but while you had it, you know, you, you couldn't do anything else. Or maybe two-handed weapons, something that occupied uh, both hands, so you'd have something you know over on this side, over on the left side too, that would um, increase the damage you did, but, you know, it wouldn't be as fast as an attack. So you wouldn't be swinging it as fast as this. You know, I'm just tossing ideas out there. You know, what do you all think? Get back to me in the comments. I you know, or Reddit. <laughs> Reddit's also a good place to post suggestions. That's where they got the, uh, believe it or not, that's where they got the ender chest idea for this update, the 131, is from Reddit and the comments there. So, you know, that's one thing I do like about Mojang is that they do pay attention to their crowd and their customer source. Unlike, um... Some of the other game developers, which pretty much tells their users what they're getting, I, I like that Mojang is actually listening to the populace. But anyway, guys, um, as I said, this is going to be a pretty short episode because I kind of took a little bit of time to show you around and talk to you all a bit. But uh, in the future, let me know what you all like to see. If you have any suggestions on the build, by all means, let me know. I'll take them into account and consider them. And if I take them, by all means, you're going to get credit for it. Likewise, um, I've certainly got a few more Steam games to try out, and hopefully I'm going to be getting le more Let's Plays out there. I just picked up the Calypso pack, and going to be looking at some of the games in there, such as Port Royale and things like that. But honestly, lately I've kind of been addicted to Skyrim and Dawnguard and enjoying the mods there. But uh, I hope you all stick around and stay tuned for Episode 3, and we'll see what I can do about getting some more buildings up. Talk to you later, guys.